Dear students, under the topic Non-Linear Partial Differential Equation, we are solving problems under Chapit's method. Now here we have a question which says that, find the complete integral of the given PDE using Chapit's method. First of all, we shall write the auxiliary equations under Chapit's method. It is given by this equation. Now, in order to find Fp, Fq, Fz, Fx, Fz and Fy, we have to consider the given partial differenti differential equation as F. So, let F be equal to the equation is x square p square plus y square q square minus 4. So, now from this we can uh, which is equal to 0. Now, from this we can find Fp that is a partial differentiation of f with respect to p which will be equal to now here alone we have p and we have p square over here its differentiation is 2p and so we get 2x square p next we have to find fq so when we partially differentiate f with respect to q here alone we have q and these terms become 0 and here we have q square we, uh, the, the differentiation of q square is 2q so we get 2y square q and then we have to find fx. So fx is equal to partial differentiation of f with respect to x. So these two terms become 0 and here we have x square and so we will be having 2x p square. And then partial differentiation of f with respect to y is fy. So these two terms become 0 and differentiation of y square is 2y and so we get 2y q square and then we have to find fz. So partial differentiation of f with respect to z is here we do not have a z term so this fz becomes 0. Now we shall substitute each of this in the auxiliary equation. So, we will be having the first is dx by fp. So, dx by fp is what? 2x square p. So, 2x square p is equal to the second is dy by fq. So, dy by fq is 2y square q is equal to dz by pfp plus qfq. But fz is what? 0. So, uh, Actually, when we substitute, we get dz divided by first is f uh, p f p. What is uh, f p? 2x square p. So, when you multiply p with this, you get 2x square p square plus q f q. Here we have f q. So, when we multiply q with this, we get 2y square q square. So, plus 2y square q square. And this is equal to the next term is dp by, so do dp divided by minus of fx. What is fx? 2xp square plus pfz. But fz is what? 0. So this term becomes 0. So you will have only fx which is 2xp square. And that is equal to dq divided by, here also you have qfz and this term again becomes 0 since fz is equal to 0. And so you will have minus fy. What is fy? 2yq square. And so it is minus 2yq square. Now these ratios can be marked as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now first we will compare ratio 1 and 3. So, comparing ratio 1 and 3, what do we get? But actually, if we compare 1 and 3, it will be a little complicated because uh, here we have x, p, y, q and z. So, let's not do that. Let's compare 1 and 4. That will be a little easier, I think so. So, when we compare equation 1, that is ratio 1 and ratio 4 and equate them both, what do we get? dx divided by 2x square p that is ratio 1 is equal to ratio 4 is dp divided by minus 2x p square. Now we have to see are we able to cancel any terms. This 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. One of the x gets cancelled and one of the p gets cancelled in this. And so from this we get dx by here we have only x to be left out. x is equal to dp divided by here we have 
uh, only one p to be left out and so that will be and we have a minus sign also so minus p now when we integrate on both the sides what do we get integral dx by x is log x is equal to minus integral dp by p is log p plus a constant of integration log c so bringing this to the le uh, left hand side log x plus log p is equal to log c now this can be written as it's like log a plus log b so which is log a b so log x p will be equal to log c so comparing both the sides we get x p to be equal to a constant c and uh, in fact uh, we can take that constant as c and from this we get the value of p to be equal to c by x so c by x so this is the value of p so therefore p is equal to c by x now we shall substitute this p in the given uh, partial differential equation and we can find the value of q from that so the given partial differential differential equation is x square p square plus y square q square minus 4 equals 0 now we have got p to be equal to c by x so we shall take this and substitute over here so at the place of p we have to write c by x so it will be c square by x square plus y square q square minus 4 is equal to 0 so this x square and x square gets cancelled and from this we can write y square q square to be equal to taking this minus 4 to the right it becomes plus 4 and this c square to the right it becomes minus c square from this q square is equal to 4 minus c square divided by y square so from this we obtain the value of q to be equal to square root of 4 minus c square by y square so this can be written as q is equal to square root of 4 minus c square divided by uh, y square when it goes out of the square root it becomes y so this is the value of q so q is equal to square root of 4 minus c squared by y now we have the value of p we have the value of q we can substitute them in dz is equal to p dx plus q dy so dz will be equal to what is p p is equal to here we have c by x so we will substitute that so c by x dx plus q is the square root of 4 minus c square divided by y dy so we shall now integrate on both the sides so integral dz is equal to c integral dx by x plus square root of 4 minus c squared is a constant and then integral dy by y now integrating on both the sides integral d z is z is equal to c and here we have integral dx by x so it is log x plus square root of 4 minus c square again integral dy by y which is log y plus a constant of integration which can be a so therefore we have obtained the complete solution z to be equal to c log x plus square root of 4 minus c squared log y plus a so this gives us the complete integral so i hope you would have understood the concept of charpitz method very clearly thank you